large intestine. Now, when, when your life gets out of balance, I'm sorry, but we all do. And I don't care who you are. It's your life is going to become hectic. You go to school. Somebody says, oh, you're a funny kid. And you're like, oh, and your mind starts going, about to start to generate. You know, your mom just gave you a big old heavy cheese bowl with a bunch of more kaffa on it. And she's just like, oh, my baby. And then you're like getting blasted with kaffa food. <laughs> um, and then, you know, then you become a teenager and it's life. So what I'm trying to say is, you start to, uh, the first stage of disease is you start to accumulate oh, okay. a certain kind of dosha by either lifestyle, by either food, by however, because remember we're connected with nature. So you're not immune to you being living in that windy city. You're not immune to living in that very humid, humid tropical environment. So that's only going to start to have you accumulate more. Now, if you're a vata person and you live in a humid place, that's wonderful. But if you're a high kapha and you're living in a, in a humid area Whoa. and you're eating kapha food, you can imagine the kapha is going to start to accumulate. Yeah. So, so that's the first stage of disease. How do you realize if a person is very kapha? First of all, because there, uh, so the, there's seven datus. The rasa datu is the plasma in the blood. Then you have the rakta datu, which is the, the blood itself, the red blood cells. And then you have the, um, um, so first it's, I always forget the, 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 the um, rasa, rakta, mamza. So you have all the seven datus. So basically the first datu, rasa, kapha, will aggravate. So you're the, the kapha eating food, you're in a tropical zone, you're already a kapha person. What's the first thing you're going to see? In the rasa, da, you're going to see sluggish digestion. Oh. A lot of people who are very kapha, takes them a long time to go to the bathroom, especially oh. number two. Okay. okay. So sluggish digestion is an indication my kapha is out of balance. It, it, it's, it's pretty no, more normal for kapha people, pitta people and vata people. If they're not out of balance, they'll go, they'll eliminate rather normally. Okay, so it's not normal not to eliminate your food. If you haven't eliminated in four or five days, something's not right. <laughs> and you're eating a lot. Okay. And then and then if you're really accumulating a lot a lot of kapha, you're gonna start to see water retention. You're not necessarily fat, made this, but you're holding a lot of that water in your body. And then you're lethargic. Right after a meal. You want to go to sleep. <laughs> Insulin <laughs> resistance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I saw that video. It's awesome. <laughs> too much kapha. <laughs> and, or not too much kapha, but definitely it's getting aggravated. Okay. So, so the, all that stage of aggravate is of, of too much accumulation. And then how about pitta? How do you know you're accumulating too much pitta? Loose stools and indigestion. Okay. So pitta, remember it transforms, small intestine, you're digesting your food way too quickly. It's getting into the small intestine, and then bloop, so your stools are really watery. They're kind of hot when they come out. So remember, stools is a big thing in Ayurveda. Your digestion, okay. is, that's king. And then, and then how about if you're a vata? How do you know you're accumulating a lot of vata? You're having a lot of gas. Okay. And a lot of constipation because remember the seat of vata is in the large intestine. You're creating, there's too much air there, too much air. So me, when I was growing up, I'm very, I'm very vata. I've, and I've always had a lot of problems, a lot of gas, a lot of indigestion. Okay. So it's way too much drying out the stool more than normal. So once, <laughs> and so, so the imbalanced dosha, because of a faulty agni agni is the fire in your body so that is the metabolic process and just to overemphasize abhyasa you can never say it enough abhyasa repetition 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 alcohol it does not allow you to metabolize food properly so you want to lose weight cut the alcohol like yesterday just saying <laughs> I always have to say that every time I talk to people. 
And so then you start to aggravate. So the second stage of disease is called aggravation. Now, now they're, 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 they're starting to, to come out of their, their home. Cough is starting to come out of the stomach. Uh, pitta is starting to come out. And so then what's the next datu? So coming out, rasa comes into the bloodstream. So imagine now. It's like, whoo, now what's happening? So now that, so because it's an overflow, ama, toxins. I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. My Sanskrit is not that great. But basically, toxins are starting to circulate throughout the body. Okay, they're starting to enter into the bloodstream. So that's when you get the, you get the water retention. And then the mucous membranes in your body with the pitta start to get in a little bit inflamed, not much. So you start to feel a little indigestion. Oh, I'll just take a little bit of Tums. Nothing's wrong with me. Nobody has to go to the doctor, right? Something is wrong with you. You do not need to be taking anything. If you are taking something, means something is not right with you. Okay. okay? We're meant to be perfect bodies. <laughs> if you have systemic dryness, your vata is out of balance. I have systemic dryness. I mean, and I work every day to keep my vata in check. Because when I was growing up, I had the worst chapped lips. Something's not right. I have constipation, but of course my parents didn't know anything about that. They just buy me chap chapstick. Well, if you are a, a parent of a kid and you know a little bit of Ayurveda, something is, is drying out in my child too quickly. <laughs> and then after the overflow, after the out-of-balance uh, doshas, the faults, now, now they're faults, are overflowing into the rasa and the rakta datu, into the plasma, into the blood. Because remember, rasa and blood, uh, um, plasma and blood is life. This is the freeway from, from the nutrition into every organ, every tissue of your body. You are now giving nutrition to your entire body. So um, the amula, the ama, the toxin starts to accumulate on the blood vessels, and that's when you get cholesterol and all these other things. So now, so so the third stage, the uh, so third stage of disease is the overflow. Now it's everywhere. Now it's spreading everywhere. Karmically speaking, depending on your karma, depending on your chart, depending on where the fault is in your chart, that's where they're going to attach. Okay. Because somebody's like, well, I'm pitta, I have skin problems, but how come I have liver problems? Oh. or your kapha oh well how come he has a tumor and i just have uh you know i have a growth on my i have a cyst i don't know your vata well then why do i have i'm nervous versus somebody else who has arthritis so depending on your karma now that's where west um for where medical astrology comes in depending on that that's where these out of fault doshas are going to attach themselves and start to do their thing <laughs> So now I'm speaking out of my expertise, but I'm just assuming if I have a weak Saturn, if I have a debilitated, and then, and then what activates it is the goat out of the transit, something sparks that. So that's timing. So that's a whole nother realm, but this is goes in combination with it. And then the, um, the, so that's one, two, three. Now the fourth stage of disease Okay, so uh, yes, is the relocation. Based on your karma, where does the out-of-balance dosha attach itself to? Where does that's it the show up? Where does it show up, correct. <laughs> so that's going to be a symptom. Now that, now, now you're going to go to the doctor. Oh, okay. The four, uh, four, yeah, the fourth stage of disease called relocation is where you have symptoms. And this is the first time a Western doctor is going to be able to diagnose you. But oh. you've already went through three stages of disease and you didn't oh. even know it. Okay, okay. That's very, very bad. Yes. So people need to realize that there's six stages. And by the time that you visit the doctor, you are already a little you know, still in the middle okay so pay attention to and even then i remember going to the doctor and i mentioned something about my indigestion they looked at me like what's the problem and i thought to myself what's the problem i don't feel good 
they may say <laughs> they may say that, oh these things keep happening now and then not a big problem you don't have cancer after all it's just an indigestion <laughs> yeah yes exactly and i was like you know what I, and you know i was already on maybe about a bottle of tums a day maybe not so much i'm exaggerating but but i definitely would go through a bottle you know those big ones here they have a costco which is like you could buy a million you know things like that big i would buy that much and by the end of the week i needed more that something is not right i'm sorry and so much gas i mean all my doshas i was at the re- i was at the relocation stage of disease and that's thank thank my lucky stars thank god i started studying ayurveda i have not been sick since I mean, little oh. things, you get old, you know, you have things, but nothing. Can you imagine if I had not studied Ayurveda where I would be right now? Or done yoga? Or even learned about myself, astrologically speaking? My relationships would be terrible. Um, and that's a whole other subject. But so, uh, and so then the fifth stage of disease is called the manifestation stage. If you do not take care and you keep your same lifestyle, if you don't make any changes, if you don't look to God, because he will be there and you will be inspired by the wisdom and the higher knowledge. If you don't seek things, you will definitely enter into manifestation stage. And that is a definitely already pills, some kind of therapy, allopathic medicine. And let's hope that you keep it there. Some things are reversible, some are not. The last stage of disease, it is non-reversible. You already entered the diversification. And the only thing that will maybe alleviate it is some surgery by the time you get into that surgery room 